From the earliest days of the horse-drawn carriages until today, the concept of taxis has been pretty simple. You hail or book one, it turns up, you get in, and the driver takes you to your chosen destination. Once there, you get out, pay the driver for their services, and give them a tip, of course, and then get on with your day. It doesn't matter where you are in the world or what kind of taxi you're taking, that's pretty much how they work. But with more and more places around the world allowing the use of autonomous vehicles on their roads, and some places even greenlighting autonomous vehicle taxi services, there's a potential change ahead in how we pay for our taxi services. Today, we pay for them using cash, credit, debit, or perhaps a smartphone app, be it an official London black cab or a Lyft. While some of the money we pay goes towards paying the license fees of the operator, plus contribute towards fuel costs and upkeep of the vehicle, as much as 57% of the payment you make goes towards the salary of the person behind the wheel if they're an owner-operator, or goes towards the company for which the driver works. Obviously, in the case of ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft, it's slightly different, and the low take-home pay of most Uber and Lyft drivers after their respective companies have taken their own cut is one of the biggest challenges to these kind of services today. But the general model is the same. The largest part of the fare you pay goes towards the operator or the operating company. In the world of autonomous vehicles, however, there's no driver behind the wheel, there's no need for lunch breaks, and there's no need to pay the driver. And that means the amount of money a company charges you to use these services might be far, far less than they would be for a human-driven taxi. Of course, right now, there are overheads associated with autonomous vehicle technology. For example, each autonomous vehicle prototype on the road at the current time isn't exactly cheap to build. In fact, they're far more expensive than regular non-autonomous vehicles. But as autonomous driving technology falls in cost thanks to economies of scale, the initial outlay for an autonomous vehicle versus the need to pay a human salary might not all be that different, and eventually the human driver will be the more costly option. While that's not good for professional taxi drivers, and one of the reasons why there's a fair amount of lobbying against autonomous vehicle services being allowed to operate as licensed taxi cabs, it's good news for those who want to take a taxi, since the cost to hail a cab will most likely start to dramatically fall as soon as autonomous vehicles reach a critical mass. Before that point, especially if public mistrust is still particularly high when it comes to self-driving cars, autonomous taxi services are most likely to cost near or the same as regular taxis. Without a human driver at the wheel, the cost of using an autonomous taxi will drop. But what about paying for it? Given that most banks and credit processors charge a fee per transaction, it doesn't make sense for a taxi service with autonomous vehicles to continue to operate a pay-per-trip business model, as all those transaction fees all add up and cut into profits. Instead, it makes more sense for a company to charge a flat membership fee and then charge customers at the end of the month for whatever trips they've made. A little like how the majority of charging station providers for electric vehicles operate their systems today. Take it one step further, and operators could incentivize customers to pay up front, giving them a guaranteed income, by subscribing to a particular plan model that offers a certain number of included rides per month for a set fee, or perhaps even unlimited rides for a higher monthly premium. Since subscription-based services like Netflix are now the norm, this business model is highly likely, and both Lyft and Uber have said that they are examining such a business model for the future when autonomous vehicles become common. Of course, these business models could be applied to other forms of transportation too, like the boring company's pod-based transit system. But unlike pods, where you will be sharing a vehicle with a stranger, autonomous taxis will most likely only be used by solo travellers or small groups of people who know each other. And that adds a new way for people to pay for their travel. Advertising. Yeah, I know. Advertising is the bane of modern existence, and it's everywhere. But hear me out. If you're using a subscription-based service, and the company which operates that service knows what your interests and dislikes are, it could potentially knock a bit off your trip if you agree to watch an advert or two as you travel along. We all know how much advertisers are willing to pay to target specific groups of people, and I'm guessing autonomous taxi ad services wouldn't be any different. And for those on a limited budget, it could actually make travel more affordable not less. Personally, this all sounds terrible to me. In fact, I'd probably pay more to not watch adverts in an autonomous taxi. But much in the same way that someone watching an advert on a YouTube channel helps the content creator provide the content to them at no cost, so too could adverts play on your autonomous vehicle taxi screen help reduce the amount you pay for a trip. 
or perhaps even make it free, provided you spend a few minutes of your time giving ads attention on your journey. And if you think that sounds a little far-fetched, let me remind you that Waymo, one of, if not the leader in autonomous vehicle technology, is owned by Alphabet, the company which also owns Google, which, as I'm sure you know, is one of the world's leaders in targeted advertising. How do you think autonomous taxi services will charge you? Would you pay for a short trip by simply watching and interacting with an advert in the vehicle? Or do you hope to never need to ever step foot inside an autonomous vehicle? Leave us your thoughts in the comments below. That's it. As always, hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded. And if you want to help us make more of these videos, consider donating through Patreon or by using the Bitcoin link below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep evolving.